Hello, this is Ben Gelfan from Technique Peak. Today I want to go over a, an exercise, a strengthening exercise that involves the entire kinetic chain or most of the kinetic chain. Um, within the realm of the hip and the layer principle, which there's four layers described, which we've gone over many times, but the fifth layer is really the kinetic chain. So I've, I've come up with different ways of trying to sequentially strengthen or stabilize the muscles along that kinetic chain. So Kim, thank you for coming. Can you lie down sure. on your back? And can you straighten the legs? This is one of the few times that I don't mind just laying straight out flat because we're going to have to. So can you put your hand on your tummy? So what I want you to do, and I like this just because it gives feedback. So can you just tighten your stomach a little bit? Good, and I feel some pressure down. It doesn't have to be a pelvic tilt, although I don't mind, but it's more about this stabilization. You're breathing on me? Yep. Good, so hold this. So what we're gonna do is, then we're gonna do some movements with your legs. Okay, relax. So I'm gonna want this tightening to be there throughout everything that I do okay. with your legs right now. Okay, and this particular one is gonna be for hip abduction. It's meant for a first day, it's meant for a first day activity for in, in uh, the clinic, and then we could give them a loop of TheraBand, which will take the place of my hands, and they could do that as a home exercise program. Three sets of 10, two sets of 15, You're, you have to decide. I personally don't love giving those paradigms because I'd like to make sure that they stop when their technique is going off, or if they're having pain or anything like that. I don't want them to be mandated to reach any particular goal. Okay, so, can you, for this, can you, Kim, just tighten up your tummy the way we had you do it? And that's pretty good. And you could see through the creases of the shirt that she is stabilizing. I don't have to be jumping back and forth. So she's stabilized here. She's using her hands now to feel that. So she gets that, uh, that feedback. Now I want you to tighten your cheeks, your butt cheeks. And if you see, I know she did that right because she came up. She's not going to hip extension, but just the tightening of her cheeks lifts her up. And now can you push out against me? Good. So as you see, we now have a, an abdominal bracing or abdominal stability. We have the gluteus medius or the hip abductors to complete that, that core. And then we're, we're going into abduction of the legs where I'm giving the resistance. Let's go over that one more time. So relax everything now. Good. So let's start with flatten up your back, tighten up your stomach, tighten up your cheeks, and now push out against me. And I like to hold, really, I use my hand, but it's somewhere around five seconds or so is all I need to hold. It's not going to be a battle between her and me. It's just a matter enough to keep it um, isometric and um, to make sure that I'm feeling the push. If we want, we could go different angles. Again, with isometrics, it's plus or minus about 15 degrees of strengthening. So we could go out a little bit more. Same thing, tend your stomach, cheeks, and then push out from here too. And we can do that throughout all the ranges of motion uh, of hip abduction from full to zero uh, degrees of abduction. And that's your technique peak for uh, kinetic chain hip abduction. Thank you very much.